guys, Charmed Wench here and I'm back again for another time this week and this week I wanted to do something a little bit different um, I've had this Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the colour Blackmail for a little while now but I just didn't know what to do with it, what colour to do it with um, and I have been, obviously as, as everybody does, you scroll through Instagram there is so many people using the colour yellow in their eye looks and it just looks amazing so I thought I would do my own eye look with it using a yellow eyeshadow so obviously as you can currently see, this is the look I came up with I know it's quite dramatic eyes and dramatic lips but I just really wanted to use this lipstick I've wanted to use it for ages because um, it's new and I haven't had time to play with it properly so obviously you can see the finished look here on my face but if you would like to see how I created this look, then carry on watching. So the first thing I do guys is go to my Modern Renaissance palette and go into the colour Tempera and apply that all over the lid from my brow to my lash. For a transition shade I'm going into the same palette and using the colour Raw Sienna and just applying that to my crease. And I'm going back into the Modern Renaissance palette and into the colour Cypress Umber and I'm applying that to the outer corner of the eye, bringing it up over that transition shade that's in the crease and then as you'll see later on I get a fluffy brush and blend that all out. Uh, for the eyelid now I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk because the colour that I want to apply after I've applied this I want to really really stand out so this Milk Pencil works as a really really good base so I apply it and then I sort of press it in with my fingers it sort of blends it out a little bit better because it's quite a creamy product This is a little Max Factor tester that I've got in the colours Queen Bee um, and I've gone with that yellow shade that's in there and I'm applying that over the top of the Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I'm using quite a, a good packing brush and building up the colour so the intensity is really really good.
taking the Kat Von D tattoo liner. There's my wings. Uh, I'm going back into the Modern Renaissance palette, taking that colour Cypress Umber and I'm using like a little smudging brush and I'm smudging that all along the lower lash line. Going back into that Max Factor Queen B colour and I'm using the yellow and I'm just running that over the top of the Cypress Umbra and slightly under. It's not very noticeable but I just wanted to do that just to make it a little bit different. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Big Eyes eyeliner and the black side of that and just lining my waterline. I'm quickly giving my eyelashes a curl before I apply the Smashbox Mascara. It's the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara to be clear. I'm just applying that to all my upper lashes and I do apply it to the lower ones as well. Now these are just some cheap Poundland lashes and they're on. And now I'm going in with the Model Co blush in the colour Amaretto Sunset. Found it was a bit too intense so I blended it down a little bit with another brush. For highlight I'm going in with the Jeffree Star Skin Frost in the colour Dark Horse. I'm also going into my Makeup Revolution Contour Palette and taking the highlighter shade just to highlight the inner corners of my eye and my nose and my upper lip. And to finish off the look I'm going in with the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the colour Blackmail. As I said it took a while to apply this because I was trying to be extra careful but once it's applied it's really really nice. And now I'm watching this back, I'm getting Mavis vibes from Hotel Transylvania. Let me know in the comments below if you think the same. That's the finished look guys, I hope you enjoyed it. This is quite a hard lipstick to play with, I will say that. It takes a while to build up a nice even layer. Um, I obviously sped up the version that you guys watch, but um, yeah, it is, and I don't have the greatest biggest lips so you do have to play with this carefully because obviously if it goes out the line then you're stuck with a mess to clean up but um yeah i really love the color though once it's it's on in its glory i really like it so i really hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you did give me a great big thumbs up i would really appreciate it and if you haven't already there's a little button down there that says subscribe i would really appreciate it if you hit that button too but that's it for this week guys i will see you all next time bye